Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use some creative CSS to create what I like to call sales stickers for your products in your Squarespace website. So before we jump in, just a quick introduction. My name is Becca Harpain. I'm a Squarespace designer, a Squarespace Circle member, a self-professed CSS super nerd, and the founder of InsideTheSquare.co, a resource on all things CSS used by Squarespacers around the world. So you might be wondering, what the heck is a sales sticker? And to be totally honest, it's a word I made up. I have no idea if that's what other people are calling it, but that's what I'm going with. When you have a product featured in Squarespace, you can actually have the word sale pop up when it's listed as the sale price. And I've discovered some really fun ways to use CSS to jazz up that sale tag to make it stand out a little bit more. This is a preview of the three we're going to go over today. We're gonna to add a little leaflet style, a center droplet thingy, like a little circle, and then a tag style on the far right-hand side of the screen here. So these are the different sales stickers that I've designed with CSS. So I'm going to walk you through how to install these and how to customize them to make them your own. Also very important before I keep going, the term Squarespace is a trademark of Squarespace Incorporated. This content is not affiliated with Squarespace Incorporated. I just love designing with the platform and love to help others make the most of it. So let's go ahead and hop into my demo sites and we'll get working today. Now I do want to mention that these codes work in not just my sample Squarespace 7 site here, but they also work in Squarespace 7.1. So you'll see here, I've got my 7.1 demo site and one object on sale. And then here in my shop on my Brian website in Squarespace, I have one item on sale as well. So we're gonna be going through codes for both of these. Now, before you start taking notes, don't worry, I already wrote them all down for you. The sales stickers are available in a free code pack on my website at insidethesquare.co slash sale. There I have a two page PDF that you can download that has all the codes that I'm going to go over today, but I wanna spend the time in this tutorial breaking down the codes that are in there for you so you know how to customize them and make them work for your own website style. So let's head back to that demo site and we'll get right to it. To edit the custom CSS for your site, we're gonna navigate on your main menu down to design and then custom CSS. Now it's in the same spot if you're using Squarespace 7.1. It's design and then custom CSS at the bottom. So you'll see here it looks basically the same, but this is where we're going to be entering the code. So starting here with my main Squarespace 7 site, you'll see we don't actually have any badge that says sale anywhere on our sale product. That's because we haven't asked it to display. So if you, you are using a template where it doesn't display, this is the first code that you're gonna want to add and it's beneath this video. And now you'll see the little word sale has popped up here on the right hand side. In my 7.1 demo, the word sale is already there, so we don't need this code. But here in this particular template I'm using in Squarespace 7, we just have to say, hey, go ahead and display that in line with the rest of that product block. And then we'll see the word sale. Now, right off the bat, it's a little smaller than I'd like. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that a bit bigger by adding a semicolon and the words font size 30 PX. There we go. And now you'll see the word sale has really jumped up there and definitely increased in size, but it doesn't look as cool as the other tags we're going to add. The first one I have for you in that free sticker pack is how to turn this into a circle that really stands out above your product. So I'll go ahead and paste this code here so we can see it, and then we'll take a look at what we're changing. Now the background color is set to green. I just typed in the word green, that's the standard browser green, but you can use any hex color code or RGB code to make that more in line with your brand. My favorite shade of teal happens to be that particular code, and you'll see I typed that in there, and now the circle has changed shape. Now I did go ahead and add a little bit of a box shadow to it, I personally like the look of a box shadow, but if you don't, you'll see the last part of the code right here it says box shadow, five pixels, blah, blah, blah. Just take out that whole thing and that shadow will go away and it will just be the minimal circle. Okay, awesome. So we've also increased the font size here so you can play with that on your own. But I will mention to get this padding just right for the circle, leaving it around 20 pixels is a really good spot to leave it. We'll go ahead and take a look at the mobile site as well, because I want you to know this definitely stays the same size. It doesn't resize for mobile. It's going to stay that size no matter what device you're on. So definitely important to note. 
Now I'll go ahead and put this code over here in the 7.1 website. So you can see we've got the same effect going on. We've got the sales sticker here. And then on mobile, it's going to stay about the same size, but it doesn't take over too much. It's going to be there on the bottom right. And that's what it looks like. And again, just change the word green to whatever hex color code you want to see or RGB or RGBA code. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. Just type in the word green or red or whatever you'd like to see and that'll show up there. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the second sticker that I have in that sticker pack. This is what I like to lovingly call the sales leaf. So I've made a little leaf-like shape there that takes over the top left-hand side. Now I'm using some clever code for margin on the right, putting that at 60%, and a little bit of a margin at the top. So that scoots that tag from being over there all the way over to the left-hand side. Now again, we can change this background color. Let's say you don't want it to be a green leaf. You can make it that teal color that I love, or even just type in the word red. And there we go. It'll really stand out. And again, I put a box shadow here. If you don't like it, just take that out of the code and it'll lay flat over the product itself. Now, one important thing I want to note, forgot to mention this with the last one, is that this right here changes the color of the text. So let's say you want it to be a solid black text or just a little bit darker. You literally just type in the hex color code for that and it'll darken the font for you there. So color is what's going to actually change the color of the font. Now, this is the same for Squarespace 7.1, but again, these sales tags are down here at the bottom. So you'll notice this leaf is going to overlap the image just a little bit. We're not taking it all the way up to the top. We're going to leave it down there. And again, remove the box shadow if you'd like, or change that background color, or where does it say it in here? Uh, at the very top, we have the color for the font. You can change that to whatever color you'd like to see. Okay, I've got one last tag I'd like to show you today. This one is what I literally call my sales tag. Now this sales sticker uses a very unique technique for CSS called the before code. This is what's creating the effect, but I really wanted to point this out so you know that this is actually just a Unicode element or a piece of text technically. So you're not gonna see any images behind it. It's not transparent. It's just a sneaky little style trick to make it look like a tag. Now, once again, we've got the background color set to green, and we can change this to red or whatever color you'd like to see. And again, if you change the color of the font, right here it's set to being solid white. If you go ahead and change that color, it will change the color of the tag as well, this before marker, okay? Everything you do to edit the text here is going to be reflected here as well. All right. So again, these codes are available for you in the free sales sticker code pack that I made at insidethesquare.co slash sale. So head on over there and download it so you can just copy and paste these into your website. But now you know how to customize them too. So you can make them match your own brand. And that's actually it for today's tutorial video. So if you like this video, be sure to subscribe. I post a new one every week, just sharing some code snippets on how to make your website even more awesome. Thank you so much for watching and have fun with your Squarespace website.